What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we got a reaction video, and uh, I got my boy, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? My Maximo. Boy, my boy Maximo with me. And uh, yeah, man, we gonna react to another prison story. Y'all know what it is. Jay Williams, let's live life and work back. Yeah, I'm girl, huh? Who has sex with a baby? Let's relive it. He said, who has sex with a baby? I was up in Rainsville, man. By far, the sickest dude I ever met was a dude by the name of Stacy. Now, when I say sick, I don't mean sick along the lines of murdering people. I don't mean sick along the lines of inmate on inmate violence. I mean, his charge alone made him the sickest individual I'd ever dealt with in all my years of incarceration. Now, Stacy was one of those dudes that was real quiet. He was almost like a recluse. He never talked to nobody. He had a job, you know, worked at the warehouse at the prison, and even at the warehouse where he worked at his station with other dudes, he never spoke. I never once heard the man say a word. I've been around Stacy maybe two years at this point when the story took place. So at this time, we have this shift of officers that are just, what's the best word to say without they would just get them, you know what I mean? It's just, it's what it was. Most of the officers on that shift were low-income house and they carried themselves yeah. ghetto. You know, they were just, they were super, super ratchet. Huh? No offense to anybody, but you get what I'm saying. There was no white Hey, you know what, bro? Why you never became a CO, bro? I did security. No, a CO, like corrections. Because I don't have to hurt no, no people. I could like no, even no, even no, look no. even how you even how you like this because I'm thinking even how you like this, bro. You just look like an old CO ass nigga. You could have been bro, a CO. The, the, anybody that was military, anybody watching us military, bro. Military people yeah, shouldn't can't. do any kind of job, bro. In the C you got hand to hand combat. I was I was uh, you know I used to box. Oh yeah, you did real. used to box. You know what I'm saying? It, it, if you get in there, man, get in situations, you're going to hurt man. somebody. You know what I'm saying? I, that, that but I got PTSD. That is true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah, ain't yeah. what you want to activate. The certain job. That, nigga said, <laughs> that ain't what you want to activate. I forgot. You do have PTSD. Yeah. Hey, look. Yo, when I first met this man, right? So I've known DJ for like 14 years now, bro. So when I first met DJ, is it 14? Yeah, it's 14. Mm -hmm. So when I first met DJ... I met him through his roommate, T. And T was cool as shit, bro. T was some funny-ass, skinny country nigga or whatever. So I go to the crib. DJ didn't know who I was. DJ come back to the crib, and you had your army shit on, too. Nigga looking like... I'm like, what's up? Nigga ain't saying shit. <laughs> he just looking like... Then you pull T to the back. Hey, man, who the fuck is that? That's what I did? I don't even remember that shit. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> put T to the back, like, Yo, I, yo, bro. And then you mad big, bro. So, like, I'm talking to T. And T, like, T, like, hey, listen, man, you know, he just he just came back from Iraq. He a little, you know what I'm saying? But he cool, though, but he cool, though. Bro, it took, like, two months. Then you warmed up to me and shit like that. Then I, then you started showing me all the weapons that was in the house. I was yeah, like, I just keep mad with Yeah, I was like, oh, this nigga crazy. I still do. That nigga said, that nigga still doing the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> it was just mostly these ghetto ass, you know, women, man, and a couple, you know, street dudes that were working on shit. Our sergeant at the time was a, uh, a piece of shit, man. He was more interested in sleeping with females at the prison than he was doing his job, even though his wife was also an officer at the prison. Oh, wow. So. We get a new CO on the shift, and the CO's from a different county. Yeah, she immediately... Sprite. Yeah, he said a Sprite. You want to ice them? Yeah, the half ice. With half ice. With half ice. All right. Notice the Stacy. Because of Stacy's case, 
and it was all in the news years before. Because you know, Stacy's been locked up for years now. But she remembered him because of his case. Now, Stacy was in the cell with a dude that worked on electronics named Randy Chappelle. Randy was a what good a dude, big fat dude. Randy Chappelle, right? Kind of That's a crazy ass name. Or or something. He wanted you to pay him in all sweets. You know, if Randy wasn't eating sweets, he was working on electronics. If he wasn't working on electronics, he was looking for a way to smoke some crap. That's just, you know, some backdrop of who Randy was. Oh, wow. Stacy was his cellmate. And he never even really talked to Randy. I asked Randy, I was like, what's up with your cellmate, man? That dude don't never talk. You know what I mean? He's like, I don't know, man. He maybe said five words to me, you know, in the, in the years we've been in the cell together. So I'm like, all right. Then we've got a dude in our pod named Dog, Barbie Dog. And anybody that's been up green what a film, name. that was there between 2005. What a name! <laughs> that's a name, Barbie Doll. Y'all know who Barbie Doll is. Y'all know who Dog is. He looks like a shorter version of Debo. You know what I mean? He's like shorter version. Just, just muscle bound black dude. It's just muscles on top of muscles on top of muscles with a bald head. And he was an ex booty banger. Now you're probably thinking, how can you be an ex booty banger? The fuck is an ex booty banger? Dog was one of those dudes that was he go with that, man. Nigga like said he was an ex booty bandit. And I worked maintenance with Dog. We were doing pretty well. We got along good. I'd heard stories about him. And I asked him one day, I said, Why they call you Barbie Dog? He said, You might not like what I got to say, but I'm going to tell you anyway. I said, All right. He said, I mean, Back in the day, I'd give me a little white boy, and that'd be my Barbie Dog. He said, I treat them like Barbie Dogs. I rub their heads. And everything. He said, I'll take that ass from him. I'm looking at him like, man, what the f fuck is wrong with this dude, man? He tripping. He was like, I'm just telling you, if you were soft back then, he's like, it ain't even matter if you were soft. He's like, if I wanted that ass, I would take it. He was like, but that was so many years ago. He was like, now, you know, I don't really do that so much, man. He's like, I, I might make parole one day, so I had to slow down. He's like, plus you got all these punks running around here, so you ain't really got to take no ass no more, man. He's like, well, yeah, they used to call me Barbie Dog. He's like, but now they just, they just call me Dog. Nigga, what? Hey, <laughs> whatever, man. Yeah, you, what, So we nigga? get this new guard on, right? All this ties together. We get this new guard on, her name's Sharon. And Sharon is from the same county as this dude, Stacy, that never talks to anybody. Sharon recognizes Stacy. Right away, she recognizes him. She knows who he is. She goes into office. She pulls up his paperwork. Oh. She goes into the pod and she posts it. Like oh. they take they have this bulletin board where they put up, you know, newsletters, new rules in the prison, maybe the chow hall menu, oh, whatever. Oh, that's foul. And they post it. Well, in the middle of the night when nobody's looking, she goes out there. This is an officer now. She takes his dude's arrest report. Greg, what's up? That that's 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 fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, but like, how much? Just uh, if you can bring it in packages, it's fine. You don't have to though, cause we got that in the house. Oh, okay. You could bring the peppers, but we got the we got all our other stuff in the house. Right. Yeah. There's charges, there's court case, clippings, all the stuff she's cut, you know, copied and pasted and put on paperwork. She puts it on the bulletin board. So I wake up in the morning for chow and I go out. Myself. You say, I salute you, Officer Sharon. Looking at it like, what the fuck? This dude, Stacy, he's already gone to work. He's already working in the warehouse. He's not aware of what's going on. Everybody knows. So I walk up. I make my way through the crowd. And I'm standing there looking at the paperwork and looking at all this. And we come to find out that not only did Stacy murder an infant, a child that was like less than a year old, you know, he was also a sexual predator. In the paperwork, it stated that originally they couldn't figure out why the baby had died. They thought it was kind of like a, like SIDS, you know, where a baby passes away in its sleep. But then upon further investigation on the autopsy, they found, and look, if you're, if you're squeamish, you don't like to hear bad things, this is the point where you turn the video off. Let me give you a second. 
Ready to eat it? All right. Mm-hmm. So upon the autopsy of the baby and them, you know, doing everything to figure out why this little baby died, they found semen. The great male baby. sperm in this baby's throat. Oh! Scott Stacy was alone with this baby and commenced to having sex with this little tiny baby with its mouth. You seen this much? Nah. I ain't get that far. Yeah, it's a lot of them niggas in jail, dog. I ain't get that far, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, that shit's sick, but at the same time, you know, I got a son, so like... That's why that nigga quiet, though. Yeah. But them niggas, that's a jail thing. Them niggas always quiet in jail. Cause, if, cause you gotta think. You see how you thinking like I got a son? Yeah. I, a lot of them niggas in jail got kids. Yeah, I violate, bro. So I ain't gonna, they, I ain't, they, I ain't you gonna lie. Them, you go to jail, For and they find like that. out that you know, like them niggas got a lie. The, them niggas got a lie about. Them niggas got a lie about why they went to jail. Bro. Cause if they find that's why she posted it. She wanted that to happen. She wanted everybody to, she wanted it to get out that he was that. Because think about it. If you go to jail for pedophilia, you're going to tell everybody, oh, I'm going to jail for You're not going to say that, Hold bro. on, you to You're not going to say that. You're going to say, I went to jail for assault, uh, you know, traffic. Or, you're going to say traffic. something. You're not going to say. Bro, you know you what's know, <laughs> crazy? I got, like, it's a dude that I be hooping with, and he was locked up for, um, I think he did like 13 years and he was saying that like he was kind of like a I ain't gonna say he was a boss in there but like he, a boss nah, yeah. I ain't gonna say he was a P I don't the way he put it though he was like he hung out with niggas where it's like in order for you to come into that circle or to speak to them they gotta see your paperwork mm-hmm. like they have to see why you came in there because or they, they just have to get a little history on you if they don't have that then they, nobody speak to you he said that's how it was when he was locked up. He cool as shit too, bro. He was um Yeah, in jail, they don't play that shit. Yeah, though. they don't they play find out, They yeah, find yeah. out that you if the information get out that you was in that pedophile pedophilia, all them niggas got kids. You know, and niggas been in there for they don't beef with a nigga, shot a nigga, they don't rob a joint or whatever, but them niggas got kids. They find out you was out there raping kids. <laughs> over with. <laughs> Yo, what's up, bro? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah. yeah. Greg ain't gonna let you get through it. Now. Damn, bro. This nigga not gonna let me get through the damn video. All right, bro. Let, let's let's continue. I want to hear what happened to Stacy. Collapsed its airway baby choked to death couldn't breathe and died now it's a no-brainer y'all know where this is about to go mm-hmm. you got men in there that love their kids man mm-hmm. you miss their kids you. hate you know sex offenders and predators like that as it is they and now this guy's paperwork it. has just now been blasted for everybody to see by officer sharon she did that vindictive. who comes in that evening and there is just a gang of dudes standing there waiting on you know what I mean? Everybody's trying not to look like they're going to do anything. And the other guards on this shit, like I said, they were hood. They kept it hood. They knew what was going to happen to them. They wanted it to happen to them. They weren't going to call no codes. They turned, the, you know, the, the cheek the other way. Went paying attention. You get what you get. You deserve every bit of it. Mm. <clears throat> so when he comes in the pod, I'm thinking right then and there, they're just going to start stabbing his dude, they're going to chop him down, you know, they're going to butcher him right there in the middle of the pod in front of everybody. Not what happens. Dog walks up in front of everybody, and Dog was respected, you know what I mean? Dog's, he's an OG, he's a lifer, he's been down a long ass time. Dude's respected, Dog. Not to mention, he had that one hitter quitter, that pie out and break your whole goddamn that jaw. Pie out. That <laughs> like, yeah, that kind of a That's what he felt yeah. like doing. So, a lot of dudes 
when you got somebody that, of, of, of in that position that steps up, they are gonna fall back. You know what I mean? About their life, but like I've said, everybody's a killer, everybody's a gangster until a real killer or a real gangster shows up. Dog steps in front of everybody. He's like, nah. Y'all ain't gonna do shit to that man. Leave the man the fuck alone, man. He's locked up just like the rest of y'all. He's paying for his crimes just like the rest of y'all. So we're like, the fuck, man? This dude's defending this dude. He's like, I'll take care of it. So he goes to the booth and tells them, I want y'all to move Stacy to my cell and move my celly up there with Randy Chappelle. Or put Stacy in my cell. So right then and there, we know this ain't a he's gonna protect him thing, man. This is bad for this dude. He's about to get everything. This the form of booty bandit, cuz. This dude, Stacy, goes to the booth and tells him, Hey, look, I fear for my life. I want to go to the hole. And they have this little metal slot that they they can fold up inside the booth or they can let it down to talk to you. They close the slot in his face. Tell him, Get out of here. Mm. Tell him, go ahead and move your stuff. So they end up moving dog's cellmate upstairs into this dude's cell and moving Stacy downstairs into the dog's cell. It isn't long, man. It's, I would say, dude hadn't even unfinished packing yet. It was maybe 30, 45 minutes. And at the time, we could still smoke in Virginia. They hadn't, you know, taken smoking out of prison yet. And we all hear this dude screaming. And when I mean screaming, he's screaming at the top of his lungs, bloody murder. It sounds like what you would expect to hear if somebody, you know, was having their hand cut off or something. Mm. It's just this blood-gurgling scream coming from the cell, which was the first real you know noise i heard come out this man's mouth other than him copping please at the booth trying to get moved out of there and put you know in the hole you know taken somewhere else where he'd be safe he's been exposed and all these years he's been safe flying underneath the radar and you have this little child that's dead in this coffin buried and gone because of this human piece of shit so we all get curious of what's going on and we're looking up at the booth and the lady in the booth she knows something's going down but they're not going to do anything. you got to remember that. These are mothers. They may be guards, but they're mothers, they're fathers. And sometimes, you know, justice is not served just because you get sent to prison. Sometimes justice is served once you get to prison. Your charges are found out. That's deep. And the right person gets their hands on you. That's deep. So everybody's trying to look in the cell to see what's going on, but don't want to draw too much attention to the fact that, you know, what's taking place in the cell. So I give it a little bit, and I walk over. Like I said, me and Dog were cool. We worked together, you know. I worked out with Dog. We was alright. And I walk into the cell, and I pull out, knock on the door, and I'm like, yo. And he's like, what's up, man? I said, it's Jay. He was like, what's up, Jay? Look. So I look in the cell, and he's got this man hogtied, laying on the floor, on his belly, with his pants pulled down. Like, I mean, pulled down around his, his ankles, and his ankles are up tied to his hands. And he's sitting there beside him. And his boxers. He's got shit on him. He's got blood on him. Right on the front of his boxers, you can see the shit and blood. This dude's got blood and shit smeared all over his ass. It's all over the floor. The dog is sitting there smoking a cigarette. Right beside him, squatting down, looking at him. And this dude's hog tied laying on his belly. The cigarette draws from it, puts it out in the middle of his back. Reaches up on the counter, grabs his cigarettes, lights another one, and just sits there squatting, looking at him. He takes a punch in the back of his head. Slam his face into the floor a couple more times. There was already smudge marks and blood on the side of the wall, you know, blood on the counter, blood on the side of the toilet, and this dude is just laying there. Dogs are hog tied him, and busted his cheeks wide open, and is putting cigarettes out on him. We yeah, he, said, he said that this shit, is man. Gonna end <laughs> he soon, busted you know his mean? cheeks wide open. As soon as this dude gets up, he's going to go tell the people what's going on, blah, 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 and that's going to be the end of it. It's not. I walk off, man. You know what I mean? This isn't, it wasn't even something that I wanted to see. I thought I was going there and he's going to have this dude all beat up or maybe a stab him or something. I didn't expect to see another man hogtied laying on the ground that had just, you know, been ran up in by dog. They lock us down and throughout the night you hear it. You hear this dude screaming, yelling, screaming, yelling. You can hear dog over there beating on him. You hear dog over there fucking him. It's just him grunting. And then every now and then you just hear him punching him. Maybe punching him in his body, back of his head, his face. So the next day he rolls around. Dog comes out like nothing happened. He done told this dude, you're going to stay in this motherfucking cell. And you better not come up out of here. If you tell the people on me, I'll get you touched. I'll get your motherfucking ass killed. I swear to God, you will die if you come up out of this cell. 
Stacy didn't go to work at the warehouse. Stacy puts in a slip saying he no longer wants his job. This takes place for months. When I mean months, better part of probably a month and a half, every day dog comes in that cell and dog just rapes this man, beats the shit out of him, hog ties him, does whatever he wants to this man. And I'm not gonna say, you know, I'm not, I'm not so cool with the booty band part of it, because I don't get down like that. But I'm not gonna say that I felt any remorse for him. Nothing that was done to him. Was he enough. deserved that shit, bro. On some G shit. It. So we fast forward a month and a half, and it's done. Guy, words done. Guy outside of what's going on, and somehow or another, everything that's going on is done made its way up the chain. Somebody more important has found out about it. The Priya people have found out about it. Somebody's told this is the Pre Prison Rape Elimination Act for y'all that don't don't know. That's what you know. Priya is. They come in. They get Stacy out the cell. Dogs on the yard working out. They go out there. They lock dog up. The dogs done told this man. He's let him know. If you tell on me, if anything happens, if they lock me up, you're a dead man. Once you hit any compound, your paperwork's already out there. You better take what I'm giving you, because the next man is probably just gonna cut your fucking head off and leave you dead. Mm. So you rather deal with this than deal with that. You know what I mean? You can be my bitch or you can be dead. Mm. Somebody else has done sent off some, you know, a kite somewhere to the pre people telling them and telling, you know, administration higher, you know, what, what's going on. So like I said, they come in, they get Stacy out the cell immediately. They start investigating, they lock dog up off the yard. It's maybe two weeks later, dog comes back in the pod. He's got his bags, his back from the hole. Dude Stacy wouldn't tell him. You know, I guess he, he tortured him so bad and scared to him die. so much that Stacy just stayed quiet. Even though they knew one hundred percent what had been taking place, Stacy wouldn't say anything out of fear for his life. We fast forward, I think, it was maybe three or four days later, and they lock us all down. The whole penitentiary. Well, 3,000 guys, they come in and lock us down, and they said they got an isolated incident in the hole that's under investigation, and the people from the outside, you know, state police and whatnot, have to come investigate, because there's been a death. Stacy hung himself from the fire sprinkler in his, in his cell, mm. in the hole, in ten building. And that was the end of Stacy. I never really fuck with dog anymore after that. I just found out it wasn't long before the stuff started with, with Stacy that, you know, dog was used to be a booty bandit before, so I'd already started falling back from dog. Dog is still locked up today, but Stacy is in the ground where he belongs. Now what I want y'all to get out of this, like I said, I always try to give y'all something good from the bad we don't always feel justice is served you might have a family member get killed and the guy might only get five six years but God's got a plan and sometimes justice is served when you don't know about it and it's served in a much worse way than what you could ever expect don't always look at a situation think bad of it and not know what's really going on Stacy got what he deserves. Stacy deserves to be dead. Damn. And that booty bandit shit turns my stomach. There's nothing nice about it. You're a sick motherfucker if you do something like that. In Stacy's case, he deserved it. Justice was finally served. And I hope that baby made its way to heaven where he deserves to be. And I hope Stacy rots in hell. Chum know what this is, man. Yo, bro. Mm -hmm. How you feel about that? Hold on, 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 hold on. Let me, let me, let me. How you feel about that, my boy? You stopped it. Yeah. The recording. Yeah. Why you stopped the recording? It's the screen recording. Oh, the screen. It's the recording. camera. Oh. Okay. You haven't been paying attention to the camera. Look, uh, you got it. Because I'm looking if, at if the... we gonna be doing the channel, you gotta realize that you gotta stay in the green screen because you want the green screen. So you be out the green screen. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you, you gotta, know, you gotta position know. yourself the right way. We know you, you saying? You, know you big ass. Nah, bro. With that, with that type of shit, you know what? The whole time I'm thinking about that shit, right? Yeah. The type of niggas that's in jail. The, that's one of many stories about pedophiles, right? Oh what, yeah, what, bro. What bothered me about that story? What two things bothered me about that? And I know I know COs right now, like personally, 
like can call them on the phone like niggas is doing that active yeah. right now what bothered me about what him putting that that's on youtube yeah he basically just snitched on the ceos so basically what he just did was tell niggas if you go to jail the poli the ceos that's in the jail ain't got your best interest but that's the known fact you know everybody don't know that though that, I mean, everybody bro, don't, everybody that's a known, don't know that. Bro, that's a known, that's a known <laughs> niggas fact, Niggas think bro. they go to jail, them niggas got you, but they don't got bro, your back. So right, when you, you in seen, there, when you on, in look, jail, look, you look, own look, your own. You seen, um, for real, for real. you seen when we, when we went out to Walmart and mm-hmm. I was on the phone with, with my nigga Femi, mm-hmm. he used to be a CEO. Mm-hmm. And he used to tell me stories. And he was like, yo, it was, it's certain CEOs in, in jail, bro, that really should be in jail. Like, like they should be in jail. They should like be they, sh- they shouldn't yeah. be COs. And he's like, because if you think about it, and then they're cousin of CEOs. CEOs is hood niggas. Mm-hmm. Like a lot, of, like a lot of niggas be coming off on them. Like, yo, you a CEO, bro? You a rat? You the police? But a lot of times, bro, these CEOs be hood niggas, bro. And like, they thrive in that environment. This nigga Femi was telling me stories how like one of one of his one of the dudes. Well, I think it was like the nigga that he's supposed to be up under, like mm-hmm. training him and shit. They walking around when the prisoners got rowdy. Nigga, the little towel shit. How they 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 cut with a little mm-hmm. blanket. He said, "All right." He went in the cell with this prisoner, covered the cell with the blanket, and they got mm-hmm. down. Yeah, they don't they don't have your best. Yeah, bro. I'm listening, I'm listening to them, and I'm thinking they the way they bro. covered the shit up. They don't have your best interest, so they don't. Bro. If you nigga, for all them niggas out there thinking about doing crimes and shit, dog, if your ass get caught, it don't matter what it's for. It don't. It could be the smallest. You know, I told you a nigga going to jail for doing tax evasion. The mm-hmm. smallest shit. They putting a nigga that didn't pay taxes in, in there with booty bandits. With booty bandits, yeah. That's who you in there with. Yeah. And them your CEOs, they don't they ain't got yeah. your best interest. That's a fact. Yo, you could always You see what I'm saying? You know, you know what's crazy though? You could always tell niggas that never got locked up or never been around niggas that got locked up. Because like they out here acting gangster. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I got no niggas now that just act like, yeah, I'm a gangster, nigga. I'll do that. But it's like, bro, you you doing that because you've never been locked up. Like, I've you heard enough. To, you ever go to jail? That's your ass. That's your nigga. ass, bro. You ever, you like, think I've. you gangster. I've listened to niggas. There's two places where your gangster really going to be tried in the, this world. Two the, places. The military and in jail. And not even the military. Because niggas just, in the military, some niggas don't even go to war. But just going to Take war. your ass to war, nigga. Yeah. That's Take your fair. ass over to a foreign country. You don't know the land, nigga. And them lands ain't like America, nigga. Yeah. The bugs ain't the same. Yeah, yeah. Them spiders. I see the, the weather pic- ain't the same. Them spiders, yeah. <laughs> them, them, them pictures of them yeah. spiders you showed me the, from Iraq. Yeah, your ass crazy. go over another. Your ass go to another part of this world, and you gonna think you on another planet for real, nigga. And that's just trying to figure out the environment. We ain't even got to the niggas, the people that you don't even know how they coming for you. Facts. Facts. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna the the street code.